the father of David Lemieux was discovered, he was a victim of a shooting in Canada. Let's talk about it. Push the weight in the flex, flex. The live is one in the six. Hey. If it's the runner boy, you nigga, no question. Yo. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Yo. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey. Motherfucker never learn your lesson. Right. Hey. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. Uh, 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 I mean, they walk a drink, blood things out. Full moon, motherfucker change like a whole brother. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. This is beyond ridiculous, man. Ah, let's get through this, man. Father of David Lemieux shot dead in Montreal shooting spree. I, you know, it's, it's hard to listen to the news nowadays because it's never good news. You know, I'm, you know, you know, I'm saying majority of it is not good news. I heard something about a shooting spree up there. And, you know, of course, I don't know David Lemieux personally, but somehow, some way, this hits, I'm not going to say exactly hits home, but, you know, it kind of does. Because usually when you think of shootings, <laughs> da -dun -da -da -da, good old USA, right? All the way in Canada, you know, um, this happens. And it's an athlete that I've watched perform. It's the father of an athlete that I've watched perform on numerous occasions on television. And um, now he has to go through this. And I feel so, you know, prayers up for him, man. This is just ridiculous. So the uh, article, Boxing Scene, link will be in the description. Father of boxer David Lemieux um, was a murder victim of a 24-hour shooting spree that took place last Tuesday night in Montreal. Police found the body of a 64-year-old man around 9.45 p.m. near park, near park in uh, St. Laurent, Borough of Quebec. Andre Lemieux was identified by Montreal police as the victim. He was declared dead at the scene and was reportedly shot at least once in the upper body. Unbelievable, man. I'm so sorry for this, man. This is crazy. Less than an hour later, another man with gunshot wounds was found dead in uh, Montreal Borough. Not long after, another body turned up nearby, leading a strong, leading to strong speculation by Montreal police that the shootings were carried out by the same person. What is happening with people, man? The Mew, the former IBF middleweight titleist, confirmed the news last Wednesday when he uh, when he uploaded a uh, post on his Instagram with a picture of his father, a company by the caption, R.I.P. Dad. Oh, man. According to the boxer, his father was waiting for the bus. Are you kidding me? Man. To learn that your father died by being shot while waiting for the bus is quite a shock, Lemieux told the uh, Le Journal de Montreal. Uh, everyone in the family is shaking. Last Thursday, Montreal police killed an alleged suspect, 26-year-old Abdullah Shika, Shaike, 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 whatever his name is, who appears to have suffered from, here we go, watch this, y'all, appears to have suffered from mental health issues and had apparently chosen his victims at random. So once again, we have a person who is a few French fries short of a Happy Meal, running around with a firearm, shooting people at random. In this instance, it's David Lemieux's dad waiting for a goddamn bus. Here we go. The shootings are uh, part of, a, of an uh, uptick in gun violence in Montreal, so they have a problem now. The week before, two teenagers were found dead from a shooting incident in the city. Last Friday, in response, uh, to the murder of Andre Lemieux. It was announced that the federal government of Canada will be providing uh, $41.8, uh, whatever. They, they have a number here. It's late. I'm sorry I'm reading this and I'm just aggravated with it. They're, they're, you know, they're providing some money in reference to, uh, to combat gun violence. Um, they're going to talk about David Lemieux uh, 
on his punching power and uh, his decision win over uh, Hassan and Dom. You know, the article link will be in the description, man. This is this is a, this is a bummer, man. You know, um, as you know, we we children, we all have fathers and mothers and aunts, grandparents, uncles, you know, and we know how it's supposed to go. We're supposed to outlive them and bury them. And, you know, with life being what it is, we would hope that it's of natural causes. But unfortunately, the world is just getting crazier and crazier and crazier. His father was simply waiting for the bus. And some fool who has a mental disorder but had access to a firearm just went on a shooting spree. I'm so sorry he has to go through this. But in this world, unfortunately, behavior like this is becoming normalized. You get crazy people. Before, I mean, when I was coming up, crazy people used to go to the top of buildings and threaten to jump. I mean, they've had it, you know, life was enough, I and mean, they just threatened to kill themselves. Muhammad Ali uh, talked somebody out off of a ledge, you know, he, Y'all could look that up. He really did that. Muhammad Ali, the champ, the GOAT, did that. Uh, there's people, you know, I think the uh, with the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, on average, there's a percentage of people that jump off that damn bridge to kill themselves. I think there was a documentary on that or something, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But back then, I'm, I'm mentioning that to say, you know, back then, people, when they got tired or they had a mental disorder, they would off themselves. Nowadays, they're getting guns and they're popping people. And then they pop themselves if they don't, you know, commit suicide by cop. This world has a problem, let alone in America. I didn't know this was going on in Canada. I would say welcome to the party, but what party? I got through the 90s going to parties without getting, without getting shot at parties I got shot up. This is disgusting. It's disturbing. Um, prayers up for the Lemieux family, man. I'm so sad that they got to go through this, man. I wish I had better news, man. But prayers up, man. Prayers up. Bronx on deck. Move!